It's election time, which means you probably got one of these in the mail. So what's inside? Well, it's your application for a mail-in ballot, also instructions on how to vote this year, whether it's by mail-in ballot, or maybe you're one of those people that are like, I really wanna vote in person like I always do. No, I don't. I just want to kick back on election night, watching the results from the comfort of my own home, having already voted by mail or by one of these boxes. Cool, Chris, I, did. I, didn't, I didn't know you were here today. <laughs> yeah, I was just in a meeting over there with myself. Anyway, I think it's time we give them some tips, whether they want to vote in person or by mail. So if you're like me and you want to vote by mail, you're gonna take one of these letters and you're gonna transform it to this. And once you've done that, you can either mail it back because there's no postage needed, you can mail it back or you can bring it to your Board of Elections office and the same process will happen where they will mail you your ballot. Now, hold the press because an important date to remember is Tuesday, October 20th. Now that is the last day that you can take this application and send it in to receive your mail-in ballot. So remember that date, Tuesday, October 20th. Now, once you receive your mail-in ballot, you simply have to fill it out and mail it back to your local elections office. You can drop it off at your local elections office, or you can drop it off at one of these handy dandy ballot boxes, which is here in Centerville at the 110 Vincent building or at the Kent Island Volunteer Fire Department. Okay, so let's say you sent in your application to do mail-in voting, but then you wanna show up the day of to vote also. If you do that, you're gonna receive a provisional ballot. And that's so we can make sure your vote's not counted twice. But don't worry, your vote will definitely be counted. And that takes us to voting in person. Again, you have some options. There's early voting, which will be at two locations, the Kent Island Fire Department and Kennard Elementary School. That starts Monday, October 26th through Monday, November 2nd. They are open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Then there's the big day, Tuesday, November 3rd. There'll be four polling locations open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Those four are the Kent Island Fire Department, Kennard Elementary School, Graysonville Elementary, and Churchill Elementary. Four places, that's excellent. That is excellent. And they're doing everything they can to keep you safe. So they'll be practicing social distancing. They'll also be limiting how many people can come into the room. So that means there may be long lines. To avoid the long lines, do early voting on weekends or on election day, show up between 10 and 3 p.m. And as always, for any questions concerning voting, mail-in ballots, and locations, anything that is election 2020, always check out the QAC Elections Facebook page, their Twitter feed, or check out their website. They'll have all the information that you could need and that this video maybe didn't supply, even though I think we did. Yeah, and now that we supplied it, it's time for you to go out and vote.